or Gimme Yarn 418 and I am here with a little bit different type of video. Um, I know I don't typically do tutorials but this is kind of tutorial-esque. Um, I'm smiling really big because Dewey is my cameraman today and I will show you a picture of that a little later. Um, I, got a new, I purchased a new product today the other day from Amazon and it arrived and I'm super duper excited about it. As you may or may not know from watching my videos, I like to make felted things. I know felting is kind of gone out of style in terms of bags and stuff, but I really like, you've seen me make a lot of these, the felted hedgehogs. We call them Herbies here, and they're really cute, and these line the steps to my studio, and Dewey's getting really excited. Um, and I also like to make the felted slippers. However, we have a front-loading washing machine, and I confess I would collect up all the things I needed to felt and I would sneak over to Kristen's parents house and felt and then come home and as if nothing had ever happened. Um, but it was a pain because I felt like to make it worth my while I had to have a whole bunch of stuff to felt. So I've been looking at this product for a while and I finally broke down and bought it and that is the Wonder Washer Personal Washing Machine. I've heard it's really good for felting, but I couldn't find any videos on it on YouTube. Um, so I thought I would share my experience experimenting with the Wonder Washer. So it comes in this box, and when you open the box, it looks like this. So it comes with some instructions, they're very clear and straightforward, and now I'm going to just show you what we're going to be doing. So here we go. So Kristen, as I mentioned, had asked me to make her a pair of the Fiber Trends felted clogs, and I knit those up the other day, and this is what prompted me to buy the Wonder Washer because I didn't want to knit up a whole bunch of stuff to give her her slippers. So I have the slippers here, and this is what I would typically, these are my typical felting supplies. Um, the first one is some mini tennis balls that I get at Christmas time from Walmart in a three pack, usually for a dollar or two. I used to have three, I have two. Some wool wash, I use eucalyptus because it's no rinse. in the bucket, but I am still going to be using the bucket to fill the Wonder Washer. So I marked here on the self-healing mat the before size of the slipper. Can you see that? I will zoom. I can pick it up too. Nope. Do. Just... Can we zoom into the numbers? Sure. inches long and it's one, two, three, four, five, six, six inches wide, approximately, at its widest point. And I believe the rule in felting that it, is that it's supposed to shrink down a third. So I figured after we felt it, while it's still wet, we will measure here and see what the results are. So this is what the Wonder Washer looks like when you take it out of the package. There's plastic around it. And when you open it up, it has the instructions in it and some styrofoam. And inside is actual, actually the base, which has the whole agitating mechanism. I'll bring it in to you. No. Um, and the instructions say, because I did read over them, that you want to first put your item to be washed in the washer. So I'm going to put the two slippers in the washer. I'm also, for extra agitation, adding the two mini tennis balls. In the future, I would add more than two. Then it says to add the water, but it does say in the instructions, which makes sense, um, to make sure the water is the temperature you want it to be. So I filled the bucket here, and I'm going to pull it in. It says not to have the bucket on the electrical part and not to have it plugged in. So it's. I'm going to fill it so that... I don't want too much water because I believe I could 
could be mistaken that felting is more about the agitation than the actual water used. So what temperature is the water? My t it's as hot as my sink would go. Um, for people that are wondering. Yes, for people that are wondering. Um, these are my rules for felting. I don't know if they're the real rules. <laughs> they're what I have um, come up with just that works for me. So now I'm going to add some wool wash. You don't need too much. And like I said, this is no rinse wool wash. And I think I'm going to add a tiny bit more water. And then we are ready to go. So this is how much water I, cho I chose to add. I don't know because I've never done this before if this is a good amount or not enough or too much. But it's, we'll see. It's an experiment. Did you measure the amount of water? No, I didn't, but it, I can see how low it is. It's, I don't know, like three inches below the fill line. So the next step in the instructions was to put the lid on. The lid does lock on. And then to, while the electrical part is still unplugged, put the bucket on top of the washer. And it kind of just, it doesn't snap in but you can, you can feel when it's in there right. There are two options for the program, standard and gentle. I'm going to use standard, and I'm going to set it for 15 minutes, and then we will come back and see where we're at. shut off so it's been 15 minutes we're going to look inside and determine if we want to have it go again when I pull out the fabric you can see you can still see the stitches it obviously needs a lot more felting um, I'm wondering if there's too much room okay I think I added too much detergent so I will be rinsing these after all um, and we're going to go for another 15 minutes, maybe 30, as long as it takes, as long as it felts. That's all that matters. The slippers have been in the Wonder Washer for 30 minutes now. I suspect they'll need to go again, but let's see what they look like now. Oh, they are starting to felt. There's a... I, can't, I have too much laundry detergent in here, but... You can see they're starting to felt. That's, I'm trying to get the... The stitches are less defined, but it still has a way to go, ways to go. I'm suspecting it'll need two, if not three more cycles. Um, in a regular top load washer, I wash for, I felt for 45 minutes, so even if I have to do five cycles, it's not too bad. So we're going to put it back in. The slippers have been in the three. Wonder Washer for three cycles, or approximately 45 minutes. I opted to change out the water because the temperature of the water was cooling down, and we want to use hot water. And let's see what the slippers look like now. They are definitely felting, but they still have a long way to go. We want zero stitch definition, if at all possible. So they're still pretty long. So we're going to put them back in. Oh, sorry. I splashed you. Slippers have been in the Wonder Washer for an hour, and I decided to bring them over to the measuring mat so that we could see the difference. This is the size it was previously, and now it's down to about 12 inches by 5 inches at its widest. You can see that it is definitely felting. It's a very fuzzy felt. Um, but you can still, there's still, you, you can see... The rows of knitting so um, I'm thinking probably two more cycles um, and they might be done it's been in for five cycles which is approximately an hour and 15 minutes um, we are dripping everywhere but <laughs> the stitch definition is still disappearing it's awfully fuzzy which I don't remember it being um, in the washing machine the large washing machine, but um, I could just not be remembering it correctly. In the slipper out of the Wonder Washer again, we've determined that for Kristen, we need to get it to shrink to 10 inches. The last time we measured it was at 12. 
when we had it on the video. Um, and now we are at ten and a half is where the toe ends. So I'm hopeful that one more time, one more cycle with some fresh hot water will get us down to ten inches. We took the slippers out and we measured them on Kristen's feet, and they're still a little too big. They are felting really nice, but. Um, I'm not sure if this is the right size for Kristen. So we're gonna put it in one, maybe two more times, see if we can get it any smaller. Um, but so far I would say this is a success in terms of being able to felt in this machine. So we took them out one more time. They're still just a little too big. So we're gonna try one more time. I don't know how much tighter they can get beyond one more time, but we're gonna give it a shot and see if it works. And I definitely, can you see all that fuzz? I think I'm gonna have to shave. <laughs> so we just finished the final round of felting. They've been felting for what, two hours approximately in the machine. Um, we changed out the water several times. I'm gonna show you now how to drain it. I didn't show you that before. It lifts off and there's holes in the top. Very high tech. And the lid is locked on, but I'm still holding it. And you just drain the water out. because I don't want to misshape them too much, but squeeze out as much water as is humanly possible, which with me is not much. Then, I forgot about this, bring them over to the board. Um, we did measure and they have not shrunk since the last time. They are down to 10 inches in length and approximately um, four inches wide at its widest. And this is the last thing I do. I shape it with my hand and I'm going to stuff these for 24 to 48 hours with some grocery bags. And then after that, probably after 24 hours, I'll have Krista put her feet in them just to make sure that they're the width that she needs them to be and dry them longer. It'll probably take two to three, maybe four days for them to dry. And then we'll come back and we'll see if this um, fuzzy haloing is gone. And if it's not, I'll just take my gleaner and I'll shave that off. So I thought I would tell you my overall thoughts on the Wonder Washer now that I have used it um, and become familiar with it for felting. I'm not going to be using this for washing. Um, I was really excited to get it. I've wanted it for several years, um, but was really skeptical that this little contraption could do what I needed it to do. Um, this was approximately $60 on Amazon, so it is an investment. Um, that would be one of the minuses. Another minus would be it took me about two hours to felt. Um, but the pluses to me do outweigh the minuses. The big plus is that this is portable, it's small, it's compact, which I guess is the same thing, and I can take it out just when I need it and I can put it away. Another plus is that the fibers that come off of your yarn while you're felting are not going into your pipes. So you can throw those away as opposed to potentially clogging up your pipes. Um, while it did take two hours to felt to the size I wanted it to, I was doing other things at the same time and it really, that doesn't bother me. It doesn't, doesn't take me any longer or less time than it does to load everything up, go to the location of a top loading machine and felt there. I do think if I had more tennis balls, it would felt sh in shorter time. Um, the density of the fabric and the loss of st stitch definition was perfect to me. 
Um, and it was really easy. So I've only used it once, um, but I give it two thumbs up. The, the, the biggest downside for me was the price, but I'll be felting a lot more now that I have this because I always put off doing felting projects because I knew I would have to lug everything to, to a top loading machine. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to see more videos like this, I am considering making more videos like this, let me know in the description below. Um, I hope you're all doing great. Until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.